Howdy y'all. Gonna do a little bit of what's behind the covers tonight. And this is the final issue of the Denny O'Neill Neil Adams Green Lantern Green Arrow. This uh, is actually my off the rack copy. And uh, I want to say that I'm, uh, even though I kind of lived through the, uh, uh, all the hype and the collecting of uh, the Neil Adams Green Lantern Green Arrow series. I'm not that big of a fan of it. Um, I have a, a deep, profound love for this issue, but I'm not particularly a big fan of of the entire series. It's just not. Not all that wonderful, I, you know. Um, Adams did much better work uh, in other places. I mean, I understand uh, why 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 the books are beloved but uh, it's probably more for the art of Neil Adams than uh, the uh, writing of Denny O'Neill I don't know when, when you when you read them now all these decades later I don't know they're just not they're just not all that fabulous and uh, I'll take I'll take my statement a step further to say that why Green Lantern Green Arrow number 76 is now a book that is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars I have no idea um, seriously I, I, I appreciate it and it's you know quote groundbreaking uh, status and all that but it's just not all that great a book uh, it's really not. Uh, the, 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 the cover is absolutely the best thing about it. You know, uh, this book, again, the last of the Denny O'Neill, Neil Adams, Green Lantern, Great Arrows, um, I just have a special fondness for it. Uh, even though this book now, as we read it, it's a uh, very, very kind of, it's very, very preachy and kind of, uh, you terrible people that want to destroy the world with your rock music and your oil. I mean, it, yeah, I get it. You know, it, it is of its time. Although it is a, a, a nice story, if you can get past all that kind of preachiness and pretentiousness uh, it's a very very nice uh, story 
and uh, the Neil Adams art is in my opinion the best art that he provided for the entire series it's beautiful just beautiful yes indeed beautiful stuff It's up. Beautiful work by Neil Adams. We got a loose centerfold here. Again. You gotta forgive me. It's my off the rack copy. I bought this sucker. When I was about, uh, I don't know what, eight years old, yeah. But again, that is not the point. It's all about the magnificence of Neil Adams. Really, that's what this is all about. Yes. And the uh, Christ figure dies on the cross. You got that? It's pretty heavy stuff. You know. Reading it now as a 51 year old man. Kind of take it with a little bit of a little bit of a grain of salt and so comes the end of the Denny O'Neill Neil Adams Green Lantern Green Arrow uh, there's a uh, Golden Age reprint here in the back. And actually these superheroes stick ons. I uh my father brought home a pack of them for me all those years ago and they had that great large Batman sticker. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. Green Leonard Mel shoot. Yeah. That's all well and good. And then we get into the reprint. Uh, great stuff. Anyway. I uh, just wanted to show this book. If uh, uh, many of the younger viewers are not familiar with it. Uh, or are indeed not familiar with the Green Lantern, Green Arrow series by Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams. They are definitely worth reading. And this last issue in particular is a real standout in my opinion so thanks for watching we'll see you all later bye bye